and welcome to another episode of Amateur Baking Hour. I am your host and baker, Jaritza, and we are in for a treat. Today, I have a special guest. Come on over. Hi! This is my sister, Kat. Say hi, Kat. Introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Kat Rodriguez. I am a Montessori teacher, and I have a newborn! Well, he's almost five months now, so technically still a newborn. Today, we are going to be baking some lactation blueberry muffins. <laughs> Since we are both breastfeeding and our babies are about three weeks apart, um, I thought it was a good idea to continue the milk flow and go with it. Now, if you're not a mommy or you're not lactating, it's perfectly fine. This recipe is still good for you. We're just going to remove a few ingredients and that's it. It's good to go. I'm pretty sure you just heard that beep. I did not get a chance to fix the fire detector. That's what it's called. So I'm still working on it. Please bear with me. Um, yeah, how about we get started on that recipe? Let's go. All right, here we go with the ingredients. So the first thing you're going to need is one cup of oatmeal, one and one fourth cup of all-purpose flour, two thirds cup of brown sugar, packed preferably, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, for the salt, we're gonna have butter. We're gonna have one fourth cup of butter. If you have salted butter, you don't need salt. If you chose unsalted butter, then just get one fourth teaspoon of salt. My butter is salted, so I'm not gonna get any salt. Let's continue. Two teaspoons of flaxseed, two teaspoons of brewer's yeast, so the flaxseed and the brewer's yeast, those are the two ingredients that are very essential to lactation. If you don't, if you're not lactating, which I'm sure a lot of you are not, then you don't need these in the muffins. The muffins are gonna be completely fine without it, trust me. One tablespoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of Greek yogurt, half a cup of milk, two large eggs eaten, four tablespoons of melted butter, and you can't have blueberry muffins without blueberries. So there you go. Make sure that your oven is at 350 because that's the temperature we're gonna be working with today. Also, if you have a cookie scooper, right? ice cream scooper, a scooper, uh, it will be helpful later on. Um, your spatula, of course, a whisk. Since it is muffins, um, a muffin tin or cupcake tin, whatever you want to call it. You can either spray nonstick on here or like me, you can use these little cups and some bowls to do some mixing. Alrighty, are you ready? I'm gonna put you to work. Let's go. In a large bowl, you're gonna combine the oatmeal, the flour, the brown sugar, we're gonna add our flaxseed, our baking powder, and our baking soda. And lastly, our brewer's yeast. It's a good thing we got the big one. Here is a whisk. I would suggest a whisk at this point, not the electric one because it's flour and it's just gonna go all over the place otherwise. So as I mentioned earlier, or rather as she mentioned, she is a Montessori mom. Um, would you like to tell us a little bit about what Montessori is? Of course, the Montessori method is based fairly and squarely on the child being driven and it has to be ordered, created, and distinctively personal to the child. That sounds interesting. So once this is nice and mixed, let's put this to the side. Let's grab a smaller bowl. So I'll take this. We're gonna grab a smaller bowl, and in this bowl, we're going to combine the Greek yogurt. So here you are, here's your spatula. We're also gonna add the eggs. <laughs> we're going to add the melted butter. And of course the vanilla extract and now we're going to gently draw, uh, mix everything together so slowly mix everything and then we're gonna start adding the wet to the dry and so yeah so like she was saying she is here poultry there you go 
that's going to be easier for you. Um, so she does Montessori. She's been a Montessori teacher for how many years now? I've been a Montessori teacher. This would have been my third year, but I did take a year off since I had a newborn. But I've been a teacher for about um, six, seven years now. So that's very interesting. It's awesome to know. I'm going to definitely put in the link of her Instagram page so you guys can see her stories and. Modern <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. Um, what's, it, what's it called? That's it's called Modern Mom Montessori. So my page is really dedicated to the moms on the journey to creating a Montessori environment in the home. So whether in the bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, creating a Montessori environment in the home little by little and on a budget. So if you're interested in any of those things, go ahead and follow me at Modern Mom Montessori. Well, she's more enunciated than I am with on my own page. But yeah, definitely check that out. And now I have a fun question for you. Let's go. How did it feel being pregnant at the same time as your, your big sister? It was actually really cool. You know what? The idea of being pregnant together at first, because I am the type of person who likes my, my spotlight, right? And she's very aware of that. But honestly, it was one of the greatest things that could have happened to us because it just made us so much closer. So being a mom together and now that we have newborns, we get to go on this journey as moms with newborns and we're teaching each other like I know the pregnancy, she was my go-to with almost everything. I'm like, this is happening, what do I do? What do I do for here? Well, she actually packed my hospital bag and my luggage because I was I was the baby was born early. So honestly, kiss chef. Chef's kiss to the mom, my first mom, and my, my, oh my god. <laughs> chef's kiss to the mom that made me a mom. She says, no. Chef's kiss to my sister, who was also a second mom. Oh, mommy, thank you. All right, um, back to this whole baking stuff. So we're going to gently now start stirring. And so what I'm going to do is you're going to have this. Or do you want to put the dry into the wet? Or do you want to put the, you're going to stir as I pour? Um, I'm not sure how this works, Baker. Okay, fine. I am going to start pouring in the wet mixture and you're going to gently fold stir together. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention, um, to add the milk. So how about we just add that milk in there real quick. It is, I'm notorious for forgetting things. You guys know this about me. You love me for it, so I do appreciate it. All right. Now that it's nice and mixed in, we're going to gently fold it in. Here we go. My experience was a little bit different because like my pregnancy was a nightmare this time around. With Aiden, it was smooth sailing. I was 24 years old. I can take on the whole entire world. I did everything. I never ever got sick. I never got morning sickness. It was amazing. It was perfect. And then my sweet little Caspian came along and I threw up twice a day up until the last day before I gave birth. Whatever. Um, and I was exhausted the whole time. I was I was a moody, believe it or not. My husband was the moody one. You know, there were days where she had the mood for everyone in the entire neighborhood. You know exactly what I mean. She was a nightmare. Not but, uh, that bad. She's just saying that because she's my sister. Sisters, sisters, or those with siblings. You put down in the comments how many times do you fight with your sibling? Imagine both of you being pregnant. Leave that in the comment and let me know how that is for you guys. Because I would love to know if we were just the only ones who were two pregnant ladies bickering for nothing. Oh. So we were due about what, four or five, like four days apart. She was supposed to be the seventh and I was supposed to be the third of October. But she went into labor in September and I went full term. But I mean, it was just, it was so much. It was so much going on because we had our baby showers one week apart and- Our dad's 60th birthday. My, yeah, it was my dad's 60th birthday. It was hot, raining, it was just, it's Miami weather, which is horrific. I don't like it personally. That's just me, it's my preference, but yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, this, this is smelling 
So good. <laughs> right, yeah. And this doesn't have like, blueberries in it yet. Not yet. This is the last thing we're going to be adding right now. So grab those blueberries and slowly fold them in. Don't eat them. Um, they can be frozen or they can be fresh. If you're going to do fresh, expect them to be um, like bursting a little bit easier. When they're frozen, they hold their shape a little bit more. It's really your choice. So go ahead and pour that in there. Blueberry party. Ooh, it's gonna give it a nice little hint of purple. I love it. Look at that. Ain't it nice? Oh my god, it smells so good. It looks so good. By now, you're. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can eat it like that. Can you I? You cannot. Oh, okay. It is not advised to eat raw batter. Please don't, because then I'll be responsible if you get sick of All right, line up your. Here you go. Line up your muffin tin. Um, with however many muffins you want. I think this should yield about 12 muffins. And then by now, like I said, your oven should have beat. And yeah, so fill up the liners three fourths of the way up. Um, you can use a big spoon if you don't have a, you can use a big spoon if you don't have um, one of these things that I keep forgetting the name of. Ice cream scooper, guys. That. It's an ice cream scooper. If you do, then go ahead and use that. And yeah, fill these up, and we're gonna pop it into the oven. That looks very nice, that looks extremely delicious. It smells amazing. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna pop it into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, and in the meantime, go ahead and do your dishes if you'd like to, and we'll be back soon, okay? Bye. Having two spoons when feeding smaller infants so the infant can learn how to hold the spoon and preparing the child to eat alone. When feeding an older baby, you want to have two forks and or spoons to alternate, having one ready for the infant to use and eat by themselves and you have the next spoon or fork ready to go so they can go ahead and grab it and start eating by themselves. Hi guys and welcome back. I hope that your kitchen smells as delicious as ours does. Right? It smells amazing. Have you seen a small human woke up from his nap? This is my son, Zion. Say hi. He's looking at the food actually. He says his eyes are locked on these pretty boys. Look at him. Ooh. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I went ahead and added some brown sugar on top of a few of them. Um, that's just my preference. If you wanted to add extra blueberries, I mean, you guys get as creative as you want, honestly. But it is the moment of truth. It is the best time, my favorite time, tasting time. Let's do this. I'm so excited. All right, so I'm going to get one with sugar because I have a big, big sugar tooth. And sweet tooth. That. There you go. And, and you guys to take a look into that. Look at that. Oh, so yummy. Oh. Blueberry goodness. Here we go. Smells so good. Mm, so moist. Mm. So good. I'm like getting pain. Are you sure it's good? I don't know, okay? Yeah, when you bit it, they go, oh, no. Ah. I don't want it to go away. <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious. Oh my goodness. We have a lot, so, um, oh yeah. I'm We're gonna be a cow by tonight because the way I'm gonna eat these blueberry bad boys is so good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed some of the information for Montessori, Mo what is it? Modern Mom Montessori. Modern Mom Montessori. I swear I'm gonna have the link down for you so that you can know because I have butchered the name like twice already. <laughs> and I'm sorry. As usual, thank you so much, Kat, for joining me. Thank you, Zion, for the last part, the best part, of course. That's when you come out. And thank you all for joining me on another episode of Amateur Baking Hour. As usual, like, subscribe, comment, share, all of it, all the goodness. And yeah, second one, I told you. <laughs> Happy baking. Bye. Yeah.